Hello everybody and welcome back to another Halloween Cards of the Universe and Everything Deck Review. This brand new super cool card, Damphia. What an amazing card this is. Uh, but quite tricky to build a deck. It took me a couple of days to get my head around what was going to be the best for it. But I think I have finally come up with a really cool deck. So let's go and have a look at it. And then it is a league deck, so we will go and try it out in this week's league. But Damphia brilliant epic limited card okay so let's go let's have a look at the deck where is it there we go down here that new card seven for 67 so quite powerful the epic limited on the play if your deck contains eight horrible halloween cards which it does and eight brilliant human body cards which it does your cards wherever they are gain plus 26 until played and halloween our arts and culture and brilliant human body are science so it had to be a nine and nine vitruvian man and consciousness deck that is the way we've gone so let's look at these eight halloween cards the next one up is mr jekyll <coughs> 3 for 30 on the draw if you've played mr hyde and we do have mr hyde in this deck uh, so if you've played mr hyde this game it and this card game plus 35 until played not too bad at all Next card, Bogeyman or Boogeyman, 6 for 59. I do love this card at Halloween. He is great. A limited legendary on the draw. If you're losing the round, all other cards in both players' hand lose minus 20 this turn. If you're not losing the round, give your horrible Halloween cards in hand plus 25 until played. A really good card. Strigoi. There we go. We've got Dracula, so it makes sense to have him in. 3 for 27. On the play, your Count Dracula card, wherever it is, gains plus 45 until played. Nice. Uh, the Pictures of Dorian Gray. I never used to like this card, but it's growing on me every Halloween now. 8 for 100. <coughs> Excuse me. At the start, a random arts and culture card in your hand gains plus 20 until played. And this card loses minus 15 until played. But it does work. I do like him. Let's see how he gets on in this deck. Jack O' Lantern is next. 5 for 32. Hope you've all got your Jack O' Lanterns out. On the draw, your opponent's cards in hand burn 15 for two turns. On the return, your opponent's remaining cards in hand burn 20 this round. Quite an annoying little card, but he is nice uh, and I like him. Count Dracula, <laughs> four for zero. He's a must at Halloween, a great card. Uh, on the play, your horrible Halloween cards in hand game plus 40 this turn. If played on the horrible Halloween arena, which there is one, don't forget this week, your horrible Halloween cards in hand gain an additional 40 this turn. I think the bonus in the Halloween arena is 100 on your Halloween cards. So absolutely phenomenal bonus. Mr. Hyde, two for 20. On the draw if played, if you have played Dr. Jekyll this game, it and this card game plus 35 until played. Not bad at all. Moving on, here it is, Vitruvian Man. So he's not a Halloween card, but he does make this deck work. 6 for 48 on the play if your deck has 9 or more science cards, which it does. Your arts and culture cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played and vice versa. And consciousness, very similar, except consciousness is on the draw which is quite nice five for 22 on the draw if your deck is exactly nine arts and culture cards your science cards wherever they are gain 16 until played nice and if your deck is exactly nine science cards your arts and culture cards wherever they are gain plus 16 until played very nice indeed <coughs> excuse me i had the lurgy flu uh, okay, the I is next. 6 for 45. On the play, your brilliant human body cards, wherever they are, again, plus 20 until played. And we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Exactly as needed to make Dampier work. So that is a good buff from the I. And then I've gone with this trio. Blood, Sweat and Tears. So Blood, if you've played Sweat and Tears this game, your opponent loses minus 75 power this turn, which is really good cheap to play three for 30 sweat five for 50 on the draw of your deck contains blood and tears your cards in hand cost minus one until play that's quite useful uh it is survival energy isn't it this week so i don't think energy is going to be too much of a problem uh, and here's tears if played between blood and sweat blood sweat and tears shouldn't sweat have been in the middle because you always say blood sweat and tears you don't say 
blood, tears and sweat, do you? I don't know. Uh, if played between blood and sweat, gain plus 60 this turn. So a nice little bonus there. Uh, next one, this is a cool card. 7 for 60. FEMA, your brilliant human body cards in hand gain 15 permanently. That is great. Uh, Oxytoxin. On the play, all cards in both players' hand gain plus 15 this turn. And on the return, your remaining cards in hand gain plus 20 until played. I'm never sure why that's a limited legendary. It seems a bit over uh, ranked, that one. Uh, this is your hold card, 6 for 44. The heart on the start, a random brilliant human body card in your hand gains plus 12 until play. So play, hold the heart as long as you can. And this is a new card, the Infernal Cauldron 1903. It works really well. It's a science card, which is what I was looking for. Uh, we've got our, or what's it going to do? 6 for 50 on the play for every time you have played that Infernal Cauldron 1903. I'm guessing that's a film or a play. It looks a bit weird, isn't it? I might have to check that out. Uh, so if you've played at the Infernal Cauldron 1903 this game, your horrible Halloween cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played. That's quite nice. And this card costs plus one until played. So there we go. That is our Damp Fear deck. I will give you the... Uh, I've spelled it wrong. I've put Damp Poor. That must be the uh, French spelling there. Never mind. Yeah. It's got an I, not an O. Never mind. Sorry about that. Damp poor. Damp fuel. Damp purr. Let's see if we can get a game anyhow. Let's not worry about the spelling. <laughs> I don't know. It's a typo. People are looking at me a bit weird. Tangent JB. No way. Tangent. I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, wow. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. He is a very good, or she, I think, actually. Not sure very very good player hello hello okay looks like they've got arts and cultures and science as well this could be interesting so boogeyman's out nice and early for us consciousness like to get around quite good and mr hyde and mr jekyll i always used to think you had to play them together but you don't you can put them out any order i've played mr hyde and he played mr jekyll there should be a hidden bonus for that if your opponent plays jekyll and you play hyde or the other way around that would be funny <coughs> okay, Tangent, let's see what you can do, sir. Or madam. And what should we do here? So let's get Vitruvian Man out. Heart's out nice and early. We can humbly hold heart. 302. Oh, I'm loving your deck already. Oh, a fears and phobia Halloween deck by any chance. Wow, I do like it. I do like it. I've tried to make a good one, so I'm intrigued to see if you've got a better one than I managed to make. Because mine just wasn't good enough. Okay, damp fear is good. Or damp four, as we've now nicknamed him. Let's go. Let's go with Count Dracula. Normally, I'd hold Dracula a bit longer. Oh, one nil. That is good start. Oh, tangent. I do I like your deck a lot. He's definitely got a nine and nine as well, which seems to be the way to go with fears and phobia and Halloween. And what can we do here? Oh, is that blood, sweat and tears? No, blood, the eye and tears. That's a shame, but we can probably get those two out oh, with the eye. Let's do that. Three, five, five. Not too bad. This deck's looking all right. Let's get that one round, actually. This deck's not looking too bad. We haven't played. So next time that comes around, we get that extra 75, which would be good. Or our opponent will lose at 75. Screaming Skulls, interesting choice of card, that one. I think there's better Halloween options, actually. Might be wrong. Let's see, one, two, four behind. That's going to buff up Dracula. And let's get that blood card around. Four, seven, four. The scores are looking good with this deck. I do like it. I do like it a lot. That damn fear card is pretty cool. Damn four. <laughs> what a typo. Anyhow, do stay tuned for the deck code. I will give you that one, I'm very sure. Maybe I should have just said it's a damn four deck. Okay, two, nine, eight behind. There's Jekyll and Hyde together. That's cool. Five, four, oh, is not a bad score. I don't think we're going to catch the tangent up here. We've got a really cool deck. Oh, there's that clown. Nice score, five, nine, four. Really good score. Quite similar, but very different our decks, actually. That's quite a nice matchup, this is. I'm intrigued. That was the Halloween arena, and we lost it, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. 
I was hoping to win that one and go 2-0 up. But we do know brilliant human body cards do get super strong if you can get the rotation right. And Boogeyman has to go in that first box. But it's a bit of a waste, really, because there's no other Halloween cards in sight. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have held on to him and played Fuma. Okay, let's see. We had three in front. This is very, very close. My energy is a little bit lower than tangents here. It could be a problem. One, two, two with two and a half rounds to go. Should be okay, actually. This deck's quite efficient. And what should we do? Let's get that Dampier card around. Five, six, two. Come on. I need to win this round, really. Otherwise, we are going to be really up against it. Come on, Tangent. What have you got? Show your cards. Oh, a science. Oh, nicely played as well. Good score. Four, nine, three. I think we're a little bit in front. AD10XN is the deck code. AD10XN. Really cool deck, this one, actually. If you have got the new Danfia card and you're looking for something to do with it, mind you, let's see if we can beat Tangent first. Gonna have to hold Dracula. 410 is not the best score. That heart's building up nicely. 317. Let's do that. I need a bigger score. Oh, that was a waste. Whoa, Tangent. What a score. 713. Oh, we are doomed. We are 2 1 down. Well played. Well played. This is a good game. Really, really good game. Really lovely deck. I'm going to study your deck because it's definitely better than the creation that I made when I tried to do Fears and Phobia. Okay, let's keep going. Three, two, five. Jack O'Lantern is going to annoy him a little bit there. His cards are burning. Oh, Screaming Scar. I'm still not... The only card I'm not convinced about is the Screaming Scars. What does it do? Give you 30 for the round. I'm not sure. 5 for 117 there. Mm, not sure. Let's have a look. Does he get 30? Oh, no, we lose 30. Well, it's the same, really. Don't know. Don't know. Okay, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Blood, sweat and tears could be coming around. Although we're going to have to play one of them, so it won't be. That's a shame. 4, 2, 1. A hide and seek combo. Ooh, we could be catching up a little bit here. We could be. In fact, we're in the lead. <clears throat> okay, this is make or break time. We are 99 in front. He's on minus. No, he's on plus four. We're on minus 30. Oh, oh no. We've got to go for the big win. Our greens are looking good. What's Vitruvian going to give us? I don't know if that's enough. Three, seven, six. Oh, I thought. <laughs> oh, tangent. Well, that 100 extra that we had, that was close. I was, that was about the best I could do. I had to hold on to the heart because there's no way I can beat your deck without the heart. I think. Wow, that was close. These decks are very, very closely matched, I think. And that boogeyman's just buffing himself, which is a bit annoying. But at least he's up to 162. Should probably hold him maybe until Dracula comes. I think Dracula is due to come round. Well, let's go. 418. Still not brilliant, is it? Only at 37 energy against Tangents 96. Oh, can we squeeze through? 485. This is going to be so close. We need a massive score with Dracula. We really do. Boogeyman and Dracula and the heart. I'm going to probably have to play the heart. Oh, no. We can play our three horrible Halloween cards here. We may have redeemed ourselves. We're 67 behind. This is going to be a massive score. Don't forget, we're going to get that Dracula boost as well. Oh, five, nine, six. Wow, wow, wow. Shame that wasn't the Halloween arena. We are back in it. Oh, my word. How much energy have we got? 21. Oh, my goodness me. So what's the heart up to? Over 400. I think the heart could win it for us here. Uh, what's the most we can get? 746. Oh, what a good game. Well played, Tangent. That was good game. Really close. Both of those decks are really, really good. The only question mark I have on your deck, Tangent, is Screaming Skulls. But I could be 
missing something with that one. Anyhow, good game. Wow, that was close. AD10X and Halloween decks this week are absolutely rock and roll with those arena bonuses. Good game. I enjoyed that. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. We will be back very soon with some more super cool cars, the universe, and everything. Halloween! Ah!